build an integrated ecosystem with a variety of support for entrepreneurs. It is open to everyone and we hope you will take full advantage of it by participating and contributing. Before we begin, I'd like to ask everyone to introduce yourself. Please pass the mic around and uh, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Manik Raj. Hello, hi. My name is Dr. Gangaraj. Hi, everybody. My name is KK Raju Sona. I own uh, retail showrooms like Jockey and Hello, I'm Archana. Uh, I'm a director of Jockey Hello, everybody. Hi, Rajesh Babu, working in PBL Transport. Hi, uh, this is Akhilesh. I'm from Tingasa Transport. Uh, here to hear from Rajesh Babu. Hi, this is Yokma from PBL. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Vishnu Arjun. Hi, my name is Asha. Good evening, everyone. I am Chandra Bhattan. Uh, I think you believe that you are very famous and popular and all of that and big stars, but just mentioning your name is not going to help. Where are you from? What are you studying? You know, where do you work would be something that would be a better introduction. So let's try that again. Good evening. I'm Sri Vidya and I'm currently doing my second year in engineering, civil engineering. Um, Which college? Which college? Andhra University. Hi, my name is Vishwas I'm currently studying second year from Andhra University. Hi everybody, myself is Nardhan. Currently I am studying in second year, Andhra University. Hi everybody, my name is uh, Harsha. Uh, I am studying uh, second year civil B.Tech in uh, from AUC. Good evening everyone, I am Chandra Vardhan. I am pursuing my second year in civil engineering in Andhra University College of Engineering. Hello everyone, good evening. I'm Abhishek, I'm from Srinivasa College of Pharmacy. Currently, I'm in my final year of B-Pharmacy. Hello everyone, this is Vaila. I'm from Kodiya B-Pharmacy, Srinivasa College of Pharmacy. Good evening everyone, myself Bharat. I'm currently pursuing my B-Pharmacy at Srinivasa College of Pharmacy. Good evening everyone, uh, my name is Shubham. I'm from IMB Shagapatnam and uh, I'm an intern at here. Uh, currently, I am first year. I am Visakha and I am internet here. Good evening, everyone. My name is Suraj Arma. I am first year that I am Visakha And uh, uh, hi, everyone. My name is Diksha. I am first year MB student at I am Visakha Bhattam and currently doing my summer internet at uh, hello everyone, my name is Shimon Mondo. I am the first year MBA student of IIM Vishakapatna. I am also doing my internship at Ahab. Good evening everyone. Uh, this is Akbar. Uh, I have completed MBA. No, closer. I have completed MBA. And I am from uh, Good evening everyone. Uh, this is Kalla Ganesh. Uh, I am Seva of Vinak and Harum. I'm currently in my fourth year from Indian Institute of Information Technology and CSE and the GDSLE. So currently I'm interning as a data analyst in Bayer Company. Uh, and from the, next, the coming Saturday and Sunday, so we are actually organizing a 24 hours offline hackathon in our college. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Satish, Managing Director, F9 Technologies. Good evening everyone. My name is Kurnima. I am continuing second year in mechanical engineering from AUC. Good evening everyone. My name is Neha. I do freelance management work and evening section I work at a private library called Bookman. 
famous library. <coughs> Good evening, friends. I am Ram Krishna Poshan, practice in chartered accountant. Good afternoon, everyone. I am uh, Chalam. I am the Dean of uh, Gems Free School and I also am a freelance consultant. Good evening, members. I am Bobby, representing Global Enterprise. Uh, good evening, Gabi Ishwarapu. I am CEO at Ahab. Namaskar. Name Krapun. I am a headshotter entrepreneur. I have a staff. Hi, Sri Ram here, part of Gramina Innovation. Good evening, all. I am Jayesh Samurthi, Tech Investor and Entrepreneur. Good evening, everyone. I am Jaya Kautinita from Mechanical First School. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tavish from Study First School. Hi, my name is Imran and I am currently uh, I'm interning at AAP. Hi, my name is Mustafa Zamin. Uh, I'm an AMD student interning at AAP. Very complicated in his Good evening, everyone. I'm Rotex from CSC department. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shahjan from CSC. CSNT? Computer Science. 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 Computer People find Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Shravan. I represent a company called Shravan Shipping Thank you, Shadow, for guiding me for this place. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Uh, if, you're, if you're wondering if they're taking attendance of IIM students, um, they are interns. We have IIM interns every summer. Um, so we really are happy that they're with us. And um, we want them to see everything we do so they understand the full range of activities that we do. There's much more to AHAB than what we see if you're engaging with us in a short period of time or a few events. Um, so thank you again. Welcome, everyone. Um, we have a tight schedule today. We will start with um, idea pitches, a startup pitch, and then an idea, then idea pitches, and then we will go to the feature speaker. So here are a few basic rules before we commence the meeting. Kindly put your mobile phones on silent mode. Please refrain from entering or exiting the session while a speaker is delivering their presentation. Please wait until the speaker concludes their session. That exempts me because I have to run around doing stuff. <laughs> Please refrain from crosstalk cross -talk or side conversations. It is distracting. We run a tight program. Kindly note that an idea pitch is allotted a maximum time of 10 minutes, 6 to 7 minutes to present, and 3 to 4 minutes for questions. We kindly ask all presenters to adhere to the allocated time and ensure a smooth flow of the event. If you are going beyond your time, you will see me jumping up and down with my hands up. Um, we request the audience to reserve your questions for the designated Q&A time for each session. So um, let's try and stay on time. We, have, um, we will have our startup pitch first. I request the audience to wait for Ganesh to complete his pitch. Ganesh is um, representing Varahi Career Services, Ganesh. Um, I request the audience to note this very carefully. It is a session to provide critical feedback in a supportive and constructive way. This is not a session to criticize. So if you have opinions, please express them in a positive way. Um, we are all <coughs> learning here. So uh, this is a session to give him positive feedback and see what he's up to and see how we can help him. Thank you, Ganesh. Please go on.
Hello, I am Adipul Rai. Uh, my name is Ganesh Parla. I am CEO of VNXS Hub. Uh, we are uh, we are helping students, you know, uh, in uh, elevating career and achieving minds. We are offering uh, we are offering to the students uh, customized um, resume building and LinkedIn optimization and interview guidance and mock interviews and mental mental wellness counseling. Uh, in customized resume, we are we are we are you know uh, personal resume tell to career goals and highlighting your skills and experience achievements and effectively and LinkedIn optimization uh, to present your LinkedIn uh, boost visibility to the HRs and uh, you know company uh, company management and uh, you know uh, we are we are uh, building strategies to profile uh, optimization attract to the recruiters and network officially. And in, in interview guidance, uh, and uh, we, are, we are giving three to four sessions for interview guidance and mock interviews also, one-on-one -on -one mock interviews with uh, uh, Dr. Sudhagaru. And, uh, and we are offering also mental wellness services who are suffering with uh, depression, anxiety, and uh, you know some uh, mental, mental health issues. We are offering to the mental wellness services to the students and uh, uh, outside the clients also. Thank you. Any questions? Have you signed operations? Yes, sir. How much money did you do? Sir, currently we have only uh, almost uh, 16,000. When did you start? Uh, we started uh, six months before, sir. And uh, we, we are incubated in Andhra Nivas Shea Hub last uh, January, sir, in January. Till now, 16,000. From uh, from we are uh, we are uh, helping the students you know uh, in mock interviews, LinkedIn optimization uh, and mental wellness. How do you handle mental? Uh, mental wellness. We have a psychologist uh, so they can uh, handle the uh, the students and clients. Online or physically? Online, sir. We are uh, we are completely digital platform, sir. So yeah. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, you are asking about mental wellness, sir. Uh, uh, currently, we have done uh, six, six. We got six clients till now. So, uh, mostly like uh, one to, mostly like next one to two months, we are getting more numbers because I'm going to the marketing, so we'll get more, sir. Okay. And all the six of them are students. Uh, two are students, sir. Uh, uh, recently, we got one student. He is suffering, he is from uh, Bangalore and he is suffering uh, porn addiction. We got a uh, good results also from him. So, uh, he is a 10th class student. He got, uh, you know, uh, very good, very good results after, after completing the session. And where is the site uh, counselors or psychologists? Psychologist is uh, Hyderabad, sir, from Hyderabad. Uh, she, is, she is the co founder of uh, our company. Okay. Only one person you have or you are aggregating a lot of years? Currently, we have one person, sir, and one uh, intern is, uh, we, we have. Uh, she is a counseling psychologist, and she has always of experience uh, in uh, teaching field, sir. Sir, are you doing this? Are you a person who is 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 We are planning, sir. Like, we don't have that much of budget, so we are planning on it. As you grow, I know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, because Devaka did not explain it and Ravi is violating it. <laughs> Only one question per uh, <laughs> audience member, so that we get uh, other people to also ask questions. He, yeah, just so that other people get uh, a chance. Other questions? Suggestion. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, start just up a direct answer, right? Try to make a problem statement in the picture. The problem is that the journey starts with the problem. Actually, we don't have uh, that much of time, sir. So, I will just stay silent. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you want to say something like seven minutes? Any other question? How many customers do you have for LinkedIn optimization? Uh, sir, uh, 
Till now we have done only uh, four clients uh, on LinkedIn. How many employees could you get? Current, uh, currently we have uh, uh, four employees. No, no. How many employees could you onboard onto the customers? We have we have done successfully ten clients and they are get the got the job also. Uh, what are the subscription model or pricing model? What is your how how you manage the pricing model and how you compare with other competitors of yourself? Like, uh, uh, like you know, um, so we are we are planning to give affordable services to the students because like we are we are mostly targeting the students who are you know uh, in BTEC they the third year and fourth year and degree they they have uh, completed their third year so we are we are we are giving very affordable price uh, you know uh, within uh, triple line below triple line services. Any other question? So let's uh, move on to uh, idea pitches. So before those of you who are new to AHAB and who have been uh, who haven't been in touch with AHAB or uh, somebody who is new here, we are three partners in crime. Ravi is the CEO, I'm the manager, and uh, Srinivas is the executive director of Thai Vizag. Um, we have close collaboration with Thai. So we are three partners in crime, but the crime service is part of by Ravi and he is at the end responsible for all the crimes. So, um, he, he right. gets you to do the crime and he gets away with it. Oh, sometimes we cook up our own crimes. <laughs> we just put, they put his name on it. But, uh, so thank you, thank you Ganesh. Let's welcome. <laughs> Let's welcome Mag Meghna and her team. Meghna, are you here? Yeah, hi. Um, she's going to present her idea pitch. She's going to present her idea pitch. They are one of the 10 finalists of the Hulk competition, on-campus competition this year. So please welcome her.
So we came up with an idea called, which is a converting the carbon dioxide into a carbon ink, involving a process called carbon capture and utilization. So we are converting it by device called venturi meter. So which is an um, venturi tube, which contains an annual OH solution. So but which is set up around the dividers which we are having on the road. And whatever the carbon which is producing from the vehicles which is captured and uh, which is captured and which is reacted with a uh, sodium hydroxide solution and produces it into uh, small pellets and which is uh, taken and which, which is uh, uh, transferred to in some, some uh, manufacturing center which is converted into an ink. So we are going to present an uh, a uh, uh, device called venturi capture. So this is a diagram which we have drawn since two back. Uh, so this is the process what we have taken. CO2 which is the reacts with the sodium hydroxide. Uh, we get some sodium carbonate and water after processing. So the system of uh, we will introduce the pipes of venturi at uh, shape at dividers in these roads these venturi creates a vacuum which sucks these gases in the venturi which will flow uh, we will flow annual voyage which react with this carbon dioxide and uh, which creates these carbonates uh, and taking to a processing center and filtered based upon the sizes and the filtered compounds and are used for multiple purposes uh, like uh, sodium carbonate for ink generation and used for multiple like uh, uh, annual and uh, nano four and also can be sold in market at a good prices. Okay, we have an So this is an idea we are projecting today which is an all of you. So is there any questions? Do you have a prototype? How big is the size? How big is the size of venturi tubes? According to our uh, uh, a total survey and what is the pro uh, produ production of carbon dioxide and all these things, we, we are going to <laughs> we are going to design it. Have you tested it anywhere? No, sir. We are just came up with a small so idea. So on the yeah. capture. Gotcha. So we have, we have to buy that from you? Uh, uh, this is a uh, which will uh, like government will take it and which is a uh, for a government project we are thinking about it and which is produced along the di dividers of the road. So no one can buy but the government will afford for it. Good concept. Thank you. Is there any questions? So just keep that in mind. <laughs> As I restart this, I'm going to do it.
Shazin, I would like to briefly explain what the Hull Prize was and what we did. Just take two minutes to explain who's Shazin. Hello, everyone. Hull Prize is like a startup competition. It's a student startup competition which is organized by the students. So, HALT is an international competition, which is an initiative of the Filter Foundation of the Power President of the US. So, every year they pick up a challenge, which is a United Nations Sustainable Development Goal. So, the UN has 17 Sustainable Development Goals, and students or student startups can work on the Sustainable Development Goal, the particular, the HALT organization specifies for the particular year. So, last year, or that is 2023 2024, the season was an open challenge. So the UN, uh, I mean, the HALT organization didn't specify any sustainable development goal. So we had an open challenge where the student startups could work on any of the 18 UN sustainable development goals. And we had teams working on various things from drawn technology, and yeah, we had CO2, and I think ICT in dome structure here, so people who worked on construction technology, IoT, and the winning team, they worked on banana peels, extracting banana fibers and producing uh, products that can go into the market. So, we had about 54 teams who participated in the HALT platform at AU, and we conducted various mentorship sessions under the, with the support of the AHAB and also the College of Administration. So at the end of it, we had one team which won, and they will be representing Andhra University at the regional round. So, so they'll be representing Andhra University at the regional round. So there are eight regional rounds. So most likely our team will be representing AU at the Mumbai round. And if you win there, you can go into a global round, which is an accelerator program, two month long accelerator program, either in London or Paris. And then you have the finals and you contest for a cash prize for million US dollars. So the winning team of HALT makes a million US dollars and we really hope our team will be able to go quite a long journey. So we wish them and also wish all the teams that have been part of it, reaching the top 10 and also I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the AHAB for being the biggest pillar of strength behind everything we did at HALT because if not for AHAB, it wouldn't have been possible all the way from our mentor to all the technical support. Thank you. Sorry for grabbing the mic but I didn't want to do self-up over here. He's a good relation. Come here. Yeah, um, last uh, Alt Prize, we had a team from, this is typically what you call it interdisciplinary. Um, they worked on aqua farming, chemical free fish farming in vertical uh, chambers built in middle of cities so that even the logistic costs can be taken care of. So they used IoT, analytics, construction management, marine, and these are four students from law college. That was the best part. They won the Andhra University region, then they won the regionals in Calcutta, they went to Ho Chi Minh, won the Asia Pacific region, they went all the way to London for a fully paid two months accelerator program, they built the uh, MVP in Eluru and sold the startup and are working on the second one now. So that's the last time it's uh, Thank you, thank you, Shazan, for filling in like that. Um, suddenly, somehow, the internet got shut off. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, okay. Um, thank you, Meghna, for your presentation. Uh, we have another uh, idea pitch by Chandra Vardhan and his team. Are you ready? Please come. We are Dome Structure. Myself, Chandra Vardhan. Mr. Shrikadya. Today we are here to present our, domes, our, uh, our startup, Dome Structure. Before getting into this, I would like to tell, I mean, the name itself suggests that we are going to construct domes. Domes are basically of two types. One is the thing which we can see, I mean, the geodesic designing. <coughs> the other one is the invisible. We are all aware the ongoing Israel conflict. We have, uh, we have seen 
diary of uh, I mean a lot of many uh, many many missiles being thrown towards Israel to dis uh, to destroy them. But the the reason they are still there is is this dome structure. Is it because of the iron domes? These iron domes. These iron domes are nothing but air defense. It's an air defense cover, which can, uh, which which has a cover area of five kilometers square, hundred kilometers square, or it, it can be increased. Also. It is divided into three parts basically. One thing is when the missile is launched from any other different place, there will be a transmitter, a radar kind of thing, which is basically PESA radar. It's purely Indian made. The, what these PESA uh, PESA radars do is. They identify the waves by sending the uh, radar waves and detect the, uh, the intercept the missile, and also they will uh, they will calculate what up to what extent these they will calculate the trajectory and all all the things they will calculate what damage this could be done. On the other hand, there will be another device which could be firing another ballistic missile to destroy that. Actually, uh, the the second later part of the device is still under I mean, it's still under it's still being developed. <coughs> Uh, we are expecting uh, it to cost around 50, 50 crores per, uh, per an area of over 50 square kilometer. Uh, again, I, uh, I would like to tell that uh, we need to spend su su sufficient amount of time for research and development. We only uh, we only lack a we only lack a device which could fire back at them. So that's the area which which we would like to spend for research and development. We have another part that is. Uh, Visible domes. Throughout history, mankind has built monuments that stand as a testament to our culture, our history, and our achievements. But as time passes on, these monuments face an ever growing threat from environmental factors like acid rain, pollution, and even vandalism. But what if there's a solution? But what if we could do something to protect these invaluable structures for future generations to inspire? Introducing dome structure. So, are we built invisible rooms? So, they can be invisible. I mean, we are thinking of building them invisible, but they are some of the other way visible. And we use materials like acrylic plastics, optical fibers, and carbon composite fibers. If you're thinking they have plastics, you're thinking like, oh, can they be environmentally sustainable? Yes, they are. So, there's no worry in there. The cost of expenses are within 2,500 to 3,000 per square foot. Um, and if you're wondering what is our financial strategy, we our main customer is the government. And a government, we follow the PPP and the BOT strategy. PPP is nothing but public-private partnership, and BOT is nothing but built or built transport. Um, our government is a project builder and after the project is completed, we will be collecting revenue for a span of time. And until then, we are kind of the owners of the project, so yeah. And later on, we'll be handling over it to the government. And it's not that uh, we are going to construct dome over complete structure. Like, uh, there are many UNESCO World Heritage Sites. These are the sites which cannot be constructed again. Say, for example, Taj Mahal, uh, Humayun Storm, and many more in India. These sites can't be constructed. We are not going to cover anything like Eiffel Towers or Burj Khalifa, which because they can be constructed again, given the material and the area. So, there are many historical sites. Like we can expect different different contracts also. So, like there are over 100 or 150 in India itself. So we could cover them. And our with the support of government and organizations like UNESCO, we can ensure that no monument is left vulnerable to the ravages of time, preserving the past and protecting the future. We are the instruction. Travel to greater speed, so they will scan the uh, missile. They will 
looking at the project project product projectile, and there will be another device which will be sending a ballistic missile to destroy them. It's not a dome action. In fact, uh, so based on frequencies. Yes, sir. What Actually, frequencies? Uh, there is a like it's beyond uh, radio waves. Okay, uh, so whatever Israel is using it, you want to indigenous it? Yes, sir. absolutely. Like, uh, we have mentioned the, they are, uh, Israel is using a much advanced radar, AESK. That is, uh, actually, in our country, we don't have that much technology. We have PESA radars, which is just a generation behind them. So, probably DRDO is constructing them. So, we would like to use this PA, PESA radars, and we would like to also prove that it is possible through, the, through these radars. So, you have to work with DRDO down the line? Yes, sir. Uh, do you know of the technology development fund which DRDO has? Uh, right now, we are not that much enough, but we will definitely will stop here. Hi, as you mentioned in one of your slides that you are using PESA radar. Why not PESA since it is not, it is advanced? Like, uh, we are pushing towards making India. We can't defend uh, on ESA uh, radar on other countries. US so is having We it. already made one, Uttam radar. Uh, like still it's under, uh, I mean, it's in, the, it's in the final stage. So I think, yeah. By that time right. you can approach them. You can definitely. Uttam radar does not uh, give us the trajectory. I mean, PESA radar with, with the top end version, you can even obtain the traje trajectory. It's a proven one. So, Uttam radar, yes, it's good that we can identify it. We can identify uh, the location, the speed at which it's coming. But we can't detect the trajectory. Our counter device is going to fire on the trajectory. So it is going to calculate. It's a like if we miss by a inch, a disaster is going to be. Last question. Yeah. Israel is also recently developed the laser defense system. So it's not like a ballistic model. So. <laughs> Why not we develop the only ballistic model? So why can't we go for the test? Sir, so, uh, for that we need very uh, like huge amount of funding for that laser. First of all, like I don't think that we are uh, we are not that we are not working. I mean, to be honest, uh, Israel spends a lot of amount of research and development. We are very lucky. <coughs> I mean, we are uh, at least twenty years behind. It is possible that we can do it, but we need more funding. So currently, with the rate of funding which we can do, this is the product we can achieve. Sir. Yeah, as in a startup, just I am giving an idea. So, you first don't think about the fund, uh, first think about the concept and the project. So, that will uh, help you to build a uh, good product. Alright, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please give them a big hand. The important, thing, the important thing is to share your ideas and get feedback. Most students and startups are worried that their ideas will either be copied or will be laughed at. Both are misconceptions. Don't, bubble, don't bottle your ideas in your mind. Please share them, get feedback, and continue to pursue them. That's what these groups and uh, Ganesh did. So thank you for that. Now, I know you've all been waiting for the feature um, speaker today. Um, let's get to the main section. Uh, main session. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. P. Rajesh, Managing Director of PPL Transport Corporation Private Limited in Vishakhapatnam. His company um, is vast. His operations extend to much of India and to several countries abroad. They offer end-to-end -end services with many major industrial houses on their long list of clients. Their major services include oversized cargo transport, material handling services, custom clearing uh, services. They also maintain a fleet of material handling equipment. Mr. Rajesh will share some of the challenges and opportunities for startups in the transport sector. Thank you all for being so patient for this session. Please welcome. Good evening, everyone. So nice to see young people, young thoughts, young ideas. Hope you all reach 
achieve your goals in your life. Good evening. Once again, I'm Rajesh Pusarla, Managing Director of PPL Transport Corporation Private Limited. Started by my father, early 80s. I joined in 90s. I hope some I add some value in this room. I, these ideas, whatever I'm doing, they can be used in many other areas also. I'm going to talk about opportunities in road transport industry. So let's look at the current uh, state of logistics industry in India. So currently, the market next year is going to be 380 billion dollars. It's growing at compounding annual growth rate of 12 percent. Predominantly, the road is dominating with a market share of 70 percent, followed by rail, water, and air. The road transportation, again, uh, in, in terms of billion ton kilometers for cargo movement, it's about 60 percent, and passenger movement, uh, it's about 90 percent, uh, followed by rail, air, and water again. The current market of logistics in India is about $317 billion, expected to raise, raise by $550 billion close to. Again, you can see the freight transport taking a line share, and year on year it is growing. Major activity happening in India is west, north, and uh, northeast and south. Let's look at uh, B2B transportation, what PBL specializes into. PBL specializes, like any factory which is there, requires a lot of inbound movement. Uh, before production comes, different more are going to be moved from different parts of the country. Uh, that calls for huge movement by trucks and trailers, full truck loads, trailer loads, as well as projects. After manufacturing, again, they have to be move to different locations, distribution. So we are in first mile and last mile, last mile, oh sorry, line haul, we are not in the last mile. Uh, usually last mile is related to grocery delivery and all. Uh, in this also, there are many evolving like uh, uh, alternative fuels like uh, apart from the diesel, hydrogen can be deployed, uh, expected uh, to launched by OEMs in the next 5-6 years. And blockchain technology also coming up, uh, farm to port, so many uh, software companies are working on it. PBL specializes into over-dimensional cargo. If you look at the trailer uh, below, under the neat of uh, boiler, it's a Lego type model, you can increase in log, uh, in length, in width. This is used uh, in a hydraulic uh, mechanized uh, model where the load is distributed on the roads as per the Ministry of Road Transport and Authorities. It is 12 metric tons so that the concentrated weight will not be there on the bridges while moving. This also requires a special uh, lashing material and lashing calculations are also very, very important. We do a lot of wood survey before we move the cargo. Likewise, on the right side, you see uh, it's a mechanized low trailer carrying a transformer. Likewise, we are into uh, handling of material also. Uh, we have roller cranes. Uh, especially used at the time of construction. We have all terrain cranes used post-construction for maintenance jobs as well. Right one, or the most right one, yellow colored, which is capable of pick and move also. We can move a single piece of 400 metric tons. Uh, we can carry as well as we can transport. The load, which is on the blue one, uh, is about 30 feet in dia and it, uh, it is 212 tons. The current road transport industry in India, mostly this business is in the hands of 
mostly this business in the hands of 75% up to 5 truck owners are there. Very organized players, less organized players. 5 to 20 truck owners are only about 10% and more than 20% are very, very less. You can see that. Again, because in the hands of small owners, this is highly unorganized. Organized sector is only 10%. And 90% is in the unorganized sector. There are many challenges that this transport industry is facing in India. I'm going to present you. You must be knowing by Porter's, uh, Porter's five uh, forces model. Uh, the challenges, like what he has mentioned, for any business, it can be used. Uh, like uh, threat of a new entrance, bargaining power of suppliers, buyers, uh, industry rivalry spread of substitutes as well the transportation like if anybody can buy trucks with, because the banking has improved uh, uh, it's easy for many owners to get in like the owners become uh, the drivers becomes owners so the entry is very very easy so that leads to high competition because of the entry and because of low supply uh, many suppliers high fragmentation Large number of suppliers are not in the unorganized sector demands a lot of money. Uh, industry rivalry also will be there because many players are being uh, pressed into this kind of business. PPL is into uh, buyers category, I would say, because we because we are doing a specialized uh, cargo, so it requires huge uh, investments and a lot of expertise is required when you do such type of jobs. So, there is less scope for uh, people even though in the same business to get into this uh, ODC transportation category. So, the current logistics market uh, can be described like this. We are still developing. Our, uh, as of 2013, still it's underdeveloping. We need to catch up with uh, countries like US, Hong Kong, uh, uh, Europe and all because they have very good infrastructure. India is lagging but in the last 10 years we have seen exponential growth investments by central government, uh, huge investment especially in the roads. Hoping so in the next 10 15 years India will have a great infrastructure. The another big problem in India is like the higher transportation cost. The current Transportation cost in India is about 13, 14, 13 to 14 percent of our GDP, compared to US and Europe is less than 9 percent. Even the another TV says that in India it's about 16 percent, in Europe, US it's 12, and China it is 8, but we don't know. Some of the reasons for the high cost of transportation in India is every for every hundred kilometers in India we consume about 45 liters whereas in Europe and China it's about 35 liters so this leads to higher cost because of the higher fuel consumption same like uh, the Indian uh, because of the roads poor infrastructure the average speed is only 30 to 40 kilometers that, uh, per hour and whereas compared to 60 to 80 kilometers per hour in Europe countries. Average distance a, travels, a truck travels in India is about 300 kilometers. Achieving 7,000 in a month is quite difficult. Whereas in global it's about 15 to 18,000 kilometers the owners are able to do. Because of this also, if this improves, the, uh, if you can cover more distance, there's a possibility to reduce the transportation cost. Again, uh, the our ports are not really up to the global standards. They are coming up, but the old ports we have, government ports, where well, the turnover time, the turnover time is very very high. Due to this, also the costs are going up. The national uh, recently we have seen so many highways are constructed, but it's the state responsibility to keep the road infrastructure uh, to deliver the goods in the last mile delivery. If the state governments also takes care and uh, builds good roads, uh, the delivery will be quick 
and the cost also will become low, but hopefully we can expect in the coming years. As on 2019, India ranked 46, 46 position in quality of roads. Maybe it has improved because of too much infrastructure took place in the last five years. Our main problems like a uh, uh, lot of time is being wasted uh, in toll gates. In peak hours, minimum 15 to 20 minutes of time uh, lost by truck owners. Uh, this is also one of the reasons uh, cost as well as it consumes diesel when it's idle. And various regular authorities also like sales tax, police also stops vehicles without any uh, proper place. They, they have a right to stop currently and so much of delay causes I'll talk in the next few slides in a better manner. Highways, like because of the urbanization, many highways are passing through cities. Uh, cities. Vizag is one classic example. Thanks to NHAI, which connecting from Ankapali to Anandpuram. Otherwise, all these trucks have to pass through from cities. In fact, many industries are there where uh, these vehicles have to come, but they are restricted and they are able to come only in the night between 10 to 6. Otherwise, they will be waiting minimum 16 hours outside of, uh, outside of, uh, of any city. So another reason of higher uh, the cost of transportation in India is due to the higher cost of diesel. This is due to high taxes being imposed by central and state governments. Uh, in fact, the cost, actual cost is much lower compared to what we are paying. Another big problem that in transportation or the owners, driver faces is ad hoc checks. In fact, more than profit what we make as an owner on a vehicle in a month, we spend more on it. Hopefully, if this problem is addressed by the government, state and central government, the cost going to come at least by 1 or 2 percent. As well as delays in entry, loading and unloading at customer places because some customers intentionally doesn't unload load as sorry as they keep uh, material on the trucks so that they can if they they can divert to the other locations to save on handling costs. However things are changing rapidly. One of the technology has come 20 years back, uh, the GPS, but it was not used uh, very much. In the last 5-6 years, uh, owners are using, customers are demanding also. About 15% trucks are already fixed with uh, GPS. This is really a game changer. You can track the load anywhere on the roads, as well as we know the vehicle is going to reach and we can organize the next loads. Thanks to the government in the last 10 years, their exponential growth of uh, building roads by 59% in comparison with last 9 years back. Last 9 years. Even the highway, road rain highways also have increased uh, in the last 9 years to 44,000. Fastag is also, Fastag in fact it has helped us to ease traffic, but as of today, because of even though the technology is there, it is creating and owners are losing a lot of time. Government is expecting in the next couple of quarters to get a GPS based uh, fast track so that there is no uh, waitage time on highways or state highways. In fact, government also allowed uh, foreign direct investment 100%. This might help us in the coming years. Ports handling capacity to increase 3,300 million tons per annum and government is planning to invest 82 billion dollars and we are lucky to have a huge coastal area and currently three ports are under construction in Andhra Pradesh which may benefit our state. It's excellent to see that number of vehicles, commercial vehicles produced in 2023 close to million and it is growing means the movement of road transport, why the road transport is commanding due to the number of trucks are being increased, used, pressed into operation. 
GST really it has become a boon and a game changer for transporters. I expect this fragmented business may change to the corporate uh, uh, to the corporate uh, style of business. Government has allowed under forward charge mechanism to take input on cost of uh, equipment. So this has this is showing a lot of savings to the transport companies and you can take maintenance cost, tire cost also input. This is going this is help and it is going to help further. And we can see many big fleet owners are going to raise in India. As of now, there are many startups in different areas. What I'm going to show you, these opportunities are already tried, succeeded, failed, but there is still there's an opportunity, I personally think. These are the ideas for consideration. Marketplace for drivers and cleaners. As of today, requirement versus availability resource, if you look at it, as per the government rules, two drivers, one helper is required for one long haul vehicle. It is a government rule, but as on date, helpers are not available. And 30% of vehicles are idle, means even my own vehicles are also sometimes get idle because non availability of drivers. Vehicle owners, there is a already somebody has tried by the name of Boss App, and uh, they are their journey seems to be very good. This there is a possibility because long haul drivers drive about 1,500 kilometers. If a local app is developed where the long haul driver can take rest and the local driver does this unloading, loading, and uh, a lot of time is uh, saved to the uh, long haul driver, minimum of 24 hours rest is he gets, then again he'll be able to drive back 12 to 14 hours a day uh, for his next trip. And uh, this this will be a, a good game changer if anybody can do this. Training, yes, because already, as I mentioned, there are, people are not willing to drive because they are on the roads, accidents have increased. Uh, most of the drivers' children are not becoming drivers. Entrepreneurs' sons, we are seeing uh, uh, entrepreneurs, but drivers' sons are not becoming drivers because of low pay. Even we are paying 40, 50,000 rupees, I personally feel it is less, but at the same time I cannot pay more. I have to be in the market. Hopefully, the salaries should increase. And to attract the uh, people to come into this, a simulator can be, because earlier the helpers used to be there, the drivers used to teach them, and new drivers were pressed into the market. But today, the government is not allowing, you must have a license. Of course, we are seeing the traffic is government, from, from the point of government view also, we should agree. So, there is no opportunity for the drivers, like, it's, it's like a 10th or engineering course. These kind of uh, training schools must come, and simulators can be used, and we should, uh, one should, uh, yeah, uh, one should, uh, tie with the government authorities for uh, setting up these kind of schools and train them, help them in HM. And marketplace for loads, I will take a few minutes more. Uh, there are, this is a very, very big opportunity, like uh, Swiggy, Zomato kind of a thing. There are three startups, Delivery, Revivo, and Blackbird. Delivery did an exponential great job. They have, they have purchased fleet of trailers about 1000 and they have, had, uh, they have built warehouses all over India and they have become master in white goods transportation and Rivigo purchased vehicles to uh, did business but not that successful Blackbird only moved cargo but they didn't have their own fleet all are doing thousands of crores of business but delivery did best when you should think of a better app that which includes and uh, brokers and owners so that uh, and you should take responsibility of the cargo to deliver uh, safety of the cargo should be taken care and payment to the vendors must uh, should be very very important but this is a great opportunity and 
so many people in the world looking to invest in this app. Another big problem is electric uh, time changing. If anybody can invent a pneumatic or electric wheel changing machine, which will help make the driver life easy. Of course, it should be done in less than uh, 30 minutes, uh, less than 20 minutes. Since you are all young and uh, you know what I'm talking, that it's going to help track uh, like diesel time tools. Uh, in fact, uh, you can have a wearable device so that you can monitor equipment, manpower. It should be tamper-proof, uh, better to be cloud-based. Needs to be cloud-based. Another big problem is uh, because the new trucks are going on new roads, excellent roads. Now the vehicles are going at with better speeds. So you need to monitor the tires. Uh, currently, a German company has uh, man manufacturing only for the trailer at a cost of two two and a half lakhs. If this can be developed in, with indigenous technology, about a less than one lakh, and tire with OEMs also for the uh, prime over, which will help to fill air while moving, even the air gets reduced because of its uh, more movement. I mean, it should the app should alert the uh, drivers as well as the back end team for punctures. A cost effective see through glass like a wearable device if it is you if it is can be invented or it may be there, I don't know, but I've tried to find out from many people, but I couldn't. If this is there, like imagine if a shutdown is happening and you need uh, uh, your operator is working and the way machine had some kind of a problem to get into site, uh, to get in a refinery, like a refinery, HP cell, steel plant, they don't allow in the night things. And it is, the crane is working with a 100 meter boom, doing a critical job if the crane stops. Maybe it may have a small problem, but the engineer can help in a remote way so that what the operator can see, the driver can see, the engineer can support him. And this is just one use case, but there can be many, many more use cases which will help uh, in many industries, not only for transport or hiring of trains. Oil companies are supporting uh, owners by giving them some reports. If you can come up with a type of a service where coupons can be given to the driver so that they can redeem for the food, accommodation or rest. Another big problem is that we are losing diesel every day. Yesterday night at 3 a.m. we lost 316 liters like this in Andhra, Orissa, every place we are losing. In fact, thieves have become more tech savvy. The pumps, motors, what they are using is completely silent and they are able to drain within 5 to 10 minutes. By the time the driver releases, it's gone. And when we approach the police station, the departments are not bothered to take complaint. The ADAS system can be developed uh, with a 360 degree view. When a theft happens, automatically an AVA should be raised to the nearest police station so that uh, 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 there's a lot of savings to the owners and uh, peace is also very very important where we are uh, we don't know what happens in the next next night what what is that we are going to hear there's a very big scope in this area like you must be all uh, going to an apartment you see the my gate your friend or your relative sending your QR code if Similar like an app is developed where you onboard customers, owners, transporters, vehicles into one platform and normally in steel plant they check all the documents whether they are valid or not valid, uh, the license is the driver is uh, having or not, uh, the insurance validity is there or not. Now there are so many apps available, if you can integrate all this, this will save a lot of time, turnaround time and uh, getting get, the customers customers also can have a view and a uh, lot of uh, time savings this can be developed as a SaaS model there are about 2 million industries in India and 80 lakh trucks see the market size and health monitoring because nowadays uh, as the vehicles are operating 24 by 7 one of the big problem is the blood pressure and the system a uh, wearable device, if anyone can develop, it should stop the vehicle, it should alert the back end team. Even if the driver is alcohol, if he has consumed alcohol, 
it should stop moving so that number of accidents can be reduced. Like Reliance, Adani, so many corporates, they have a lot of money in deep pockets and they want to invest. They are already they have already invested and they want to invest in trucks, but they are looking for a operating and maintenance uh, partners, which there's a lot of scope so if you develop an app kind of a thing. Waybridge automation, think there are thousands of waybridges that are there in India. All these are controlled by owners. If you develop a software, overloading can be stopped. Thousands of crores can be saved by the government of India because overloading is the biggest problem uh, in India. And some customers tweak uh, their bridges to uh, like the lower stock, operation stock, does some small uh, cheating. This results to uh, time loss and uh, financial loss to the owners as well as transporters. Roadside legal and insurance services think one of the vehicle met with an accident and you need in Assam, you have 10 vehicles, you cannot go run away, run all the way uh, and you don't know the local laws rules. So if an app developed uh, for uh, getting lawyers on the board and according to the pin code based, you can, uh, the app should trigger so that the lawyers can come and attend on behalf of you. An escrow model can be developed so that both sides uh, payment, uh, service and payment is issued. Roadside operations, like we go, uh, we, we find many trucks being stopped due to uh, breakdowns. If you can uh, get mechanics on this app and trigger through app when uh, owner wants, you can trigger and uh, alert the nearest mechanics. You, we don't know. The next one kilometer, the mechanic may be there, but we don't know. If you can uh, get this, there is a possibility of uh, uh, services done and cargo can be delivered. Time is saved. Whenever there is a time saving, there is a money saving. These are the data sources which I got. I hope uh, I could uh, make uh, some interesting points to all of you. Not only in this, in somewhere you can use this. Thank you so much. Um, I'm sure there are lots of questions. Those of you uh, who are interested in trucking, there is a book that you might want to read, Truck Day India. It's a beautiful book written from the perspective of drivers. Uh, it's written by a guy who was preparing for his UPSC exams, and he hitchhiked across India on trucks. And he wrote about all the challenges that um, uh, were discussed just now. With that, open up for questions. Anybody? Thank you, Rajesh Kalu. Extremely good. Uh, this is what I think if entrepreneurs are there looking for this thing. So much of opportunities. One other thing uh, I just wanted to uh, know because there is a startup in Akap which is works on, uh, it's called Vertila Logistics, the name of the company, but the product is called Reverse uh, Drugs, which is point A to B, you deliver B to A instead of uh, the airline for loads in the reverse. Uh, yes, so it's, back to the, uh, it's, it's a great thing. Yeah. Um, but uh, they are now operating in uh, US and Canada because there it is more organized, unorganized, but do you think this would uh, Next two, three years, five years, uh, it's, going, it's going to be a major shift from fragmented owners to the large fleet operator. There's a, there's a possibility in the next five years because there are many changes in the uh, GST design. So uh, there's a possibility. And uh, these kind of uh, reverse loads, we are Usually we face this kind of a problem, but I don't have much operations in Cochin, for example, or in Northeast. So there are loads, but we don't know. This is going to, I'll connect with these uh, people and show some opportunities in India. Oh yeah, they would, they would, they would be happy if you could mentor them. Yeah. Sure, sure. Thank My you. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for this wonderful talk. You know, industry to academics. Really, you know, right knowledge, right experiences are shared with the right people. It will be a lot of the useful to me, you know, Einstein. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rajas Kevin. Rajas, you have given a uh, 
the problem statements what exactly you want but uh, as in a transport industry you are in the transport in industry so many years so you know these problems are uh, already there and existed uh, if some company wants to develop a solution for particularly and are you ready to uh, give uh, a friend commitment for them no, you mean financially yeah financially see first thing uh, if that solves your first uh, your your problem first yeah definitely like you have to understand one point first of all this to be seen as a business mm. i yeah. believe i believe in this ideas definitely i cannot say I'll fund so much but if if they can prove they can solve the problems yes because this can be a business model yes sir problem is that so there are people are interested to do it but uh, instead of going for the startup funding or something so they can in, in invest from their pockets initially the the prototyping and bootstrapping model so after that if they get in a good opportunity uh, to make it in a real market so that they they are very happy to be part of so that's what i'm saying we will see as a business model when we are starting a business we will see everything study it and definitely i'll support it thank you thank you very much last question thank you for your valuable insights sir so i was just wondering for example in us tesla basically has started the electric vehicles based on electric trucks uh, to automate uh, this delivery systems think is the efficient of course they are those are far ahead than us but uh, how far away are we actually into inculcating electric vehicles yeah. so that basically we can also lower the load on yes. the cars drivers actually actually it's a good question i've been to last year commercial vehicle summit in chennai uh, not only the electric so many alternative technologies are coming and after going because i'm going to invest a lot i want to invest huge investments in the trucks so i particularly went to know if i'm investing in uh, diesel technology what happens if the electric is going to come and hit us very badly uh, as per the industry experts because the economy is going the need for commercial vehicles are increasing as of now in india or in abroad they are being used only for last mile delivery yes going forward this technology will at least it will take minimum 10 years in the meantime like hydrogen based vehicles already being used on a specific route uh, because the infrastructure is not available in india but yes in the next 5 to 10 years we are going to see some <coughs> radical changes yeah um thanks a lot so most of the technology for these things are not that hard the hard part is actually getting your first client and building on top of that so i wanted to know if you and other folks in this industry in wise ag and what not are actually did you have like thoughts about like what kind of groups you could approach and everything because scaling is a big problem because if we anybody goes to venture capital the biggest challenge is going to keep the costs low enough for all the companies to want to go and there's a general trend of you know everybody wants that product for 5000 rupees a month that doesn't work like you need to pay developers you need to pay people i'm just saying this because venture capital models work but they don't work so i'm just thinking what your thoughts are on Yeah, I truly agree with you. Even I have my friends with me uh, from Srinivasa Transport and Shravan Shipping. Uh, they are also having huge 200, 300 vehicles. Uh, I'm sure they will agree. All this maybe some of the problems may be there, which I do not know. But as a group from the industry, because these people are very, very young, younger than me, and uh, we would like to collaborate. If any one of you come with these ideas, yes, we will see as a business. We will invest into the business. We are not. we are going to solve a problem we are going to address this problem for indian businesses like that we are interested in this business model thank you i thank you all for giving me this opportunity uh, ravi garu and uh, sorry deva garu garu uh, sorry i am bit bad with names uh, hope i could add some value and uh, you can reach me so i am interested especially i am interested in technology implementation Uh, i take some time to understand but the day i understand i will implement that's my strength and that's my another is my weakness thank you thank you ranjit that was fascinating presentation and a lot of food for thought uh, for those of you who are here 
for um, for the first time again we are a forum for startup enthusiasts there is a lot of information to share here and um, um, from your industry this is a slice of what our hub is there is uh, we have about 170 companies in the ecosystem and um, we welcome folks from industries various industries coming and sharing use cases we have sessions where you can present use cases and um, you know sort of commission the startups to say this is my problem come up with a solution and that is possible so if you're all interested since there are a lot of challenges to tackle and we have a wide variety of startups we should have a session like that at our hub we'll be happy to organize one sure uh, we have uh, like-minded people definitely be looking. yeah we have already a few which are working on these solutions what we can do is if you guys can give us a day may 6th okay that's a different thing but any other day you can position these startups and come and present their solution so that you can yeah. you can choose sure. and something that is interesting is something that you can work with and then sure, sure. So not just Aha, we will even call them across the state and across the country i'll get them out there yes. and uh, you can look at them and then see if there's something interesting we can work on how to take this and some uh, other times even if you don't have the time to meet in a formal meeting just type something up and send us and we'll pass it around and we'll connect no, it's always you better can... to meet uh, yeah of course yeah meet. whatever works um, thank you, thank you again for the session. Hope you all um, enjoyed that. Uh, before we get to the final announcements, we have let's do few, let's spend a few minutes on a um, couple of presentations, open mic session. We have um, a student from Vidyan who wants to share <coughs> something that uh, they are organizing. She mentioned that at the introductions. Good evening everyone, I am Aishwarya from Vidyan Institute of Information Technology, 4th year and C CSA student. <coughs> so as we discussed earlier, so we have shared the happiness of the students who have uh, built their ideas and have uh, went to different countries uh, regarding the HAL program. So as a part of this, we from our college also are uh, doing some initial steps. So we from GDSC, GFG and ACM, UA and uh, Algo Senate community from our college are organizing a 24 hours offline hackathon in our college. So this is for the students who have their ideas and they want to build their ideas in that specific restricted 24 hours and for the people who already started their building and want to take their building game to the next level. So this is an opportunity for everyone. So I am here to welcome all the students present here for to be a part of our hackathon and also to approach all the startups here uh, for first thing to support us in any financial way uh, any minimum help would be very helpful for us and in the second point if your startups are having any problem statements that you want our students to give a different perspective idea or just you want any feedback from our students we are uh, welcoming that and also if you are having any product to showcase us or just share your startup journey or idea with our students to bring some awareness uh, around us. So we are welcoming that everything. So thank you everyone. So this is on the coming Saturday and Sunday in our Vigyan College, a 24-hour hackathon. Thank you. Thank you, Ashwin. Now we have uh, Abhishek and Veda from Srinivasa College of Pharmacy who wants to share with us ideas. So basically, our uh, concept has come from the basically the skincare side. So basically, we have identified many problems in the skincare industry. So first problem is there are more than 10,000 ingredients in the industry, and also there are many challenges for the availability and accessibility for these ingredients, and also the financial barriers and also various other factors are coming into place 
for a person to choose the right ingredient. Now, to increase, there is also increase in the industrialization. So basically, the increase in the products in the market, which are of basically low quality and substandard. So basically, to fight all this, we are actually trying to make a new idea out of it. And also, there is no currently uh, the accurate artificial intelligence GPT model for skincare. There are actually a lot of models being constructed for various industries, but for skincare, there hasn't been any specific artificial industry model. So basically, we want to make a solution from this problem. So firstly, we want to make a skincare GPT. So basically, this is only going to be for the skincare. For example, through how are we going to do this? So basically, this skincare GPT is going to be exactly like you probably heard of Chat GPT and Gemini, which has been launched by Google recently. And so basically, there's no uh, uh, dedicated GPT for skincare. So basically, through this questionnaire. So basically, we were analyzing all the products in the market and also various other things, uh, the applications, the website. But there's, they only ask four to five questions at max. And they give the product recommendations, four to five product recommendations, which are going to cost uh, uh, ranging from 300 to 500, which the person immediately thinks is uh, basically, why should I take this? So basically, plus using these questionnaires, so basically, all of these uh, are uh, basically, we uh, research more and more about what a dermatologist or what a skincare specialist would do, would ask. So basically, on this questionnaire, we are able to, we, the user is going to en enter all and uh, give us all the information based on this questionnaire. And also using the 3D face scan, using this, uh, this is the basic, latest uh, 3D face scanning, 3D scanning technology, photogrammetry. So basically, using this uh, photogrammetry, we are able to 3D face scan a person. Uh, the person's face or his skin and we, we can actually train the AI model to predict for example if a person is suffering from acne so basically if once uh, he fills out the questionnaire and also uh, uh, scans, his, scans his face so our AI model is going to tr be trained on various previous uh, disease conditions based on acne and is able to correctly predict the right product and ingredient for him now, based on the both scenarios, there has not been any innovation currently in skincare. So, using the proper questionnaire and also the 3D photogrammetry, we are able to give the right ingredient and product recommendation to a user. This is done. Yeah, most of the ingredients in the market are not affordable to the users, and uh, to those who are not who cannot afford, uh, they will have the ever recommendations which can be taken. Uh, and they have personalized regimen according to their PM and PM routines and food recommendations will be given to them uh, 2 to 3 foods maximum what foods to avoid and what foods to eat specific to the issue. For example, uh, pomegranate is a food which is basically used uh, for dark circles uh, that which is specific to the issue. And uh, customized facial massages in animated tutorial formats will be uh, demonstrated to the users for uh, easy uh, Personal reminders in the form of alarms and uh, our routine will be given. <coughs> Community and news can be shared by the users. Coming to the summary of the process. So this is just a summary of how a user would interact with the app or the website. So basically, first and foremost, many of us do not even know what are skin types. There are only there are actually more than ten skin types for which we have to identify. So basically, based on it, he's going to complete the 3D scan and questionnaire, and the data enters in its process, and based on it, the po best possible ingredients are given to the user. And the process, and proper dietary, and various other recommendations are also given. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry I'm rushing you. I know when many of you have questions, but it is already 5.30. They will be here. Please um, interact with them. Um, please be available so people have questions and they can ask you. Yeah. Sorry, we are rushing to the uh, end. We're almost done here. A few announcements before we close the session. Thank you again for being patient with me. Um, so. You really like what you watched and um, what you um, witnessed here and want to be part of this going forward you can join the whatsapp group please scan that and um, you can get all the announcements
while you're scanning that, um, I'll give you a few announcements. We're getting up for the third of the eight workshop series. The next one coming up is on product development and prototyping. Um, we are doing an eight workshop series, right? So this is the third one. If you did not subscribe for all of it, you can, of course, get um, into this workshop. There is a fee to it. Uh, please check out our Instagram page and you will uh, find all the details. Uh, the next one, our hackathon, is coming up on the last weekend of May. It's on robotics. Speaking of hackathons, the transport industry can think of uh, all the use cases and send us and we can put together a hackathon on uh, transport challenges. So the next one is on robotics, end of May. Please register and participate. It will be an exciting competition. We are looking forward to it. Here is a QR code. This is for feedback. Please uh, provide your feedback of this session, any thoughts you may have, and uh, how it all played out for you today. The next start of Saturday session will be first Saturday of May. That will be 4th of May. So if, um, if you know somebody who might have something to share here, um, any industry that will be useful for startup community, any startup enthusiasts who want to share their ideas, their startups, please suggest the forum. We're looking to expand the circle always. More uh, cross-pollination of ideas is all good for everybody. That, that brings us to the end of the session. I would request all of you to come to the, uh, come to the front so we can take a group picture. And um, thank you all for coming. This way, this way, this way. Yeah, this way, this way. No, let's, I, yeah, I, I agree with Ravikar. Maybe ideal. Yeah, yeah. 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 let's see. Yeah, let's see.